welcome to this video tutorial about Kodoo Creatables. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create, well, creatable objects in Kodoo. And creatables are objects which can appear during a game and, the, and, and they appear when an event makes them appear. So for instance, um, a boss character could appear at the end of the level when you've collected all your, a certain number of objects. An enemy could appear, a power-up could appear when you collect a certain number of coins. Basically, it makes other characters or objects spawn in, in, in your game. Uh, before you do that, before we can get started, you need to create a very simple level like this one to work in. So all I've done is, is I've made a basic flat world, just so we haven't got any landscape to, to worry about. I've added a coin, and I've added Kodu, sorry, the cycle character, and all I've done is I've programmed that to move. And for the moment, that's all you need to do. So if you can get yourselves set up so that you've got what I've got here, we can crack on with the video in just a minute. Sorted? Great, let's carry on. So now we need to actually add our creatable character. And I'm going to use a blimp because I want to create a fairly slow moving enemy. So the first thing I do is just go to add object and I find where the blimp is. And this is going to be our creatable character. Let's just move him over here. Uh, first thing I actually need to do, first thing before I do anything else, is go into the settings. And I actually need to change the settings for the blimp so that it is a creatable object. So if you, if you notice, there is an option here called creatable. We need to switch that on so that we're allowed to generate that as an object. And underneath, there is a limit which you can set if you want to of the num maximum number of blimps in this case that we want to make. Now I'm going to change it to 10 just because you wouldn't want a stupid amount of characters in there. It would make your game unplayable. I'm only going to create one but I'm just showing you how that bit works. So now if I go back uh, to my level you can see that the blimp is actually glowing and the glowing over there tells you that it's a, it's a creatable uh, and in fact, if I run the level, what you'll see is that the blimp doesn't appear because nothing has made it appear yet. It's got to be created and events got to make that happen. So uh, let's program the blimp first of all. So I'm going to make the blimp move slowly around the level. I'm not going to have it follow the cycle because I think sometimes that makes games too difficult. Let's make it random. So I'm going to have it so it's always moving but I want it to wander so I just kind of like randomly move about and I want the speed to be slow and then what I want it to do is when it does see the cycle the player's character it will fire at it so I'm going to do when C choose the cycle object from here and I'm going to add something here I'm going to add another option of close by so it will only fire when it actually sees the player quite close to it so when it sees the cycle close by I want it to shoot and I'm gonna shoot a blip and again because I don't want it too difficult it will shoot a single blip at a time so a fairly simple bit of code there you might want to pause the video to, to copy that yourselves or you may have may have got that sorted already but that's basically our blimp programmed so the last step of what we need to do is to actually make the blimp appear so what I'm going to do is go into program and what's going to make it appear is that I'm my player has to collect the coin so when uh, oops what am I doing it's bumped when bumped and you want it to bump into the coin when bumped coin the first thing we want to happen is the coin we want to get rid of the coin because we don't want that appearing all the time and then I'm going to move this line in and we indent it because it's going to carry on as a result of this bit happening I want it to generate the blimp and this is how I do it. I go into actions and in actions you'll see there is a create 
tab. So I go create, and then there's a creatables section has now appeared because we've made a creatable object, and blimp. And so there is the code that we need to do that. So let's just run that and see what happens. And you can see it's worked perfectly. As soon as I picked up the coin, the blimp appears. It's wandering around the level fairly slowly. And if I get too close, there we go, it will fire at me. So there's one way that we can generate creatable objects. Have a go at doing that yourself and see if you can think of an interesting and imaginative way to apply creatables in your own game.